all of that for nothing. We executed such a flawless attack on the radar installation, managed to capture it intact, but instead of using it to establish communication with NATO Mediterranean Command and to get some help to us onto this island, we had to blow it up to make sure that it doesn't fall into AAF hands again. We are not one step closer to victory or rescue, and our supplies are dwindling with each engagement. I talked to Conway, my squad leader. He authorized me to go out on patrol, see if I can scavenge some supplies, see if maybe I can find out what the hell is going on on this island. Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of our Armor 3, the East Wind campaign. Our situation on this island is not improving. Actually, it's getting worse, because our supplies are dwindling. So today I'll show you that we can go out there onto the island and patrol, scavenge, find supplies, bring them back here. So that's what we'll do. But for that to be really effective, we might go and listen to the guys in the base, because from time to time they drop interesting information about potentially interesting places that you can go and investigate. So let's see if they have anything interesting to say. You know this whole place used to be British. Like a colony or some shit? Yeah. Shit, figures. Of course, we'd be cleaning up their mess now. Hmm, interesting. And we don't have an unending amount of time. We have 45 minutes until the briefing for the next mission starts. So we gotta be back by then. What about this group of guys? Do you have anything interesting to say? By the way, what the hell is that? Is that a canteen? That looks very beat up. I don't know. I just hope Captain Miller knows what the hell he's doing. We don't really have much other choice right now. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm not sure how to put it in words. But... Captain Miller... Something is weird about him, about this whole thing with these British guys. How convenient that a British unit was suddenly on the island. Where the hell yeah, did Charlie they come from? Yeah, Charlie reports that they spotted one of our trucks when they were out on recon. Said it looked pretty intact, but they had to pull back before they could investigate. Okay, and that's one of those interesting tidbits that I talked about. If I now look at the map, we see that a new task has been added. Immobile. Charlie saw an abandoned hunter while they were retreating back to Camp Maxwell. Search the area, find it, and try to retrieve any useful equipment which may be left there. Hunter is the name for this kind of thing in Armor 3. I'm gonna feel a whole lot better once we actually get comms with command back online. Who knows what's going on out there, you know? I mean, it could be World War 3 for all we know. Yes, absolutely. We don't know what's going on out there. We just know that things are not going too well on this island. And we really do need to get back comms with NATO High Command. Unfortunately, the attack on Mike 26 that was supposed to make that possible was a complete flop. Very bad. Really very bad. Do you have anything else to say that might be interesting? Let's see. Jesus, we were just here to break down some vehicles, tear down some bases. When I heard I wasn't going to be drafted back to the Pacific, I couldn't believe my luck. I don't know what the hell I must have done to end up here now. Fucking karma, man. Well, I have to explain that, I think. The Pacific is, in Armor 3, a place where the tensions are rising between NATO and CSAT. CSAT is the... oh, what was it called? Canton Strategic Alliance Treaty Organization? Basically China, Iran and a few other North African states. An alliance between them that's growing ever more powerful. And they are... Um, well, China, of course. They're making trouble in the Pacific. Tensions are high, 
Nobody really wants to be here. getting cocky here. for a while, though. Us pulling out, CSAT at their backs. You're a fucking nowhere. Yeah, they've been a giant pain in the ass for months, man, but... Well, you know, there's a difference between that and war. True. Sometimes all you need is one loose trigger for a flashpoint, though. Yeah. Maybe this whole thing is one big misunderstanding. Flashpoint. Is that a reference to Operation Flashpoint? The first game. Basically the very first game in the whole armor series before it was called armor. Man, I tell you, Operation Flashpoint was an amazing game. It had an just a super amazing campaign. It was so well put together. Really well done. I could maybe go ahead and... You know, the Operation Flashpoint campaign is available as a mod for Armor 3. Maybe I'll take a look at What's that one day. Goal, you know? An end goal is one thing. Just not getting killed right now is fine by me. Sure, man, but without full NATO support, it just feels like we're pissing into the wind. I get you. Oh, maybe I should get going. I'll listen to one more information bite from them. And either we get a mission, or it's just gonna be some flavor speech. And I'll head out, because, yeah, time is running out. And I don't know how long I'll need to get up there and back. Right? Yeah, right. So? Anything else that you might Apparently there was some firefight not far from our position. Shit. Our guys okay? That's the thing, not one of ours. At least not anyone accounted for. Okay, there we go. Crimson Tart. There was an intense firefight on the east coast earlier today. Search the area carefully and see what can be found. This is nearby. I think I might go for this one. Let's do that. So how you do this is you walk up to this ATV here. And you start a patrol. And that brings us to this strategic map where we can select from where we want to leave the base camp. And I think I'll just use the closest option. Proceed to patrol, okay. Okay, and here we are outside of the camp, and we're good to go. So let's see what we can find. Oh. Okay. What do we have here? A bunch of dead guys. Let's check out the area. This looks like it was a very short but very brutal firefight. Maybe an ambush? Anyway, the vehicle is disabled. Let's see if there's anything useful in it. No. Let's check the corpses. What do they have? This is a light machine gunner. I'm not particularly interested in his stuff. This too is a light machine gunner. This is the LMG version of the MX rifle. Okay. What about you? You're just a regular rifleman, aren't you? Yeah. Maybe a squad leader. It's raining. But this guy, what do we have here? That's a marksman rifle. You know what? That wouldn't be such a bad thing to have. Here's what I'll do. I'll take my current rifle and I'll put it into the inventory of my ATV. Together okay, with all the magazines. That's that. And let's take that marksman rifle and check it out. And let's see. I'm sure this guy has some ammunition on him. Yeah, actually he has. Okay, there we go. So let's check the rifle. It's a nice one. It has a bipod. And I need to reload it. 
check the side. Oh, okay. The side is not that great. The magnification is quite low. But still, I think we can make good use of this. This thing is very lethal. Even at range. And I have a bipod to stabilize it. If I need to do that. Okay. So this part of the campaign where you can go out on patrol and just roam the island but well we should avoid the um, enemy installations because they are incredibly dangerous though but this part of the campaign where you can freely roam around the island I think this is quite awesome not many games give you this freedom and I have this target down here and it is up to me how I will approach this hmm let me have a look here Maybe we can see it already. Okay, this this way. Okay, there's this valley going down towards the sea. And the target should be down there at the end of the valley. So we can't see it from up here. Let's check the surrounding hills. Make sure that there are no enemy patrols. Let's check this hill. No, everything's fine. Let's check that way. Nothing. Okay. How will I approach this? If I look on the map from up here, I think I'll just go down the valley and see if I can find an, maybe an elevated position where I can make good use of this nice rifle that I just acquired to observe the area. And if there are enemies down there, I can snipe them. That's the plan right now. You might ask yourself, why am I not taking all the weapons around here? Well, the thing is, the uh, inventory of this thing is very limited. So I have to be a bit picky with what I take. Let's go. Let's go down here. Let's not flip this thing. This is quite steep. And I have to be very careful that I don't damage this. Otherwise I can kiss my plants to bring anything back to the base. Goodbye. But so far so good. I'm approaching the little village. It's quick save, okay. might not want to get too close with this vehicle. I don't want anybody to hear anything. So I think I'll park it down here. Or maybe over here. This seems like a good place in those trees. Here's a little depression. Alright, let's see if we can get eyes on the village. I'm looking for an advantageous position. Not seeing one right now. Let's run up here. Maybe I can get to a position above the little village so that we can look down on it. I have to be careful. I think we came from up there, yeah. Those are the stone houses that we just came from. Nothing else is here. Oh, I think I saw a house. Okay, let's go down. Let's be very careful now. Yeah, houses. Oh crap, enemies. Quite a lot of them and I don't like this position, I'm too open. Let's crawl back. I have to find something better.
Hmm. Let's continue this way. All I need... Oh, that's a boat. Okay, a boat with a dead guy in it. So it's not a threat. Which is good. But I still need a good position to engage those guys. This is not easy. I don't want to get too close to them, because why would I? I have this rifle. What about that ridge? Does that ridge look down on the village? That's a good question. It might. It might actually... Did they spot me? Let's hurry up. They launched a smoke grenade. Maybe I was spotted by somebody. Okay, let's get some distance in. Because if they did know where I am right now, which I suspect by them shooting a smoke grenade up to mark my position, um, I guess they'll be coming after me. So, let's get some distance. So that I can engage them as they come up there. And I'll try to set up on this ridge. Just making sure that they don't spot me. Nervously looking over my shoulder. Have a look. I was up there, right? Yeah. So the question is, will they try to push that position? Or will they hold up in the village? Well, I try to get eyes on them. And I do think that I have the range advantage. Unless, of course, they have a sniper or a marksman. Then, then we're in for a shooting duel. But you see, this is this is what I mean. I have this objective. And it does look so easy. It's just a small village. But it's a tactical problem that I need to find a solution to. And how I do it, it's completely up to me. And that's what I like about armor. It gives you this freedom. Oh, well, they don't seem to be pushing the position. Not yet, at least. Damn, this, this canyon... This Damn it. So much for that. Not pushing the position my ass. There's one. How's the wind? From left to right. Got him. There's another one. Damn, I'm shooting into the stone in front of me. He is very much unsure about what to do. He retreated, okay. He didn't like being shot at, but I got one of them. Okay, now they know where I am. Now what? Okay, I didn't expend too many rounds there. There, there he is. Do you see him? That's... No, I can't use the bipod. It's too steep. I think that's actually a marksman, so... Let's get into cover. Oh. Okay, how am I gonna approach this? Let's maybe make use of this stone. Rest the bipod on it and have a good look. Where'd he go? And where are the rest of his buddies? Oh, 
with the bipod deployed, the rifle is super stable. Or did I get that guy? No, I don't think I did. Okay, I can't stay here. I need to think. What will I do? Where will I go? I think I'm continuing to flank left. Try to get eyes on the village. Hoping that I don't make myself a too easy target. There are the houses. Okay, I'm starting to get eyes on. But I don't see anybody. That guy up there is definitely dead. I got one of them. But I don't know where the other one went. Or where his bodies are, for that matter. So, we'll try to improve our angle on this little village. So that we can effectively engage them. And having a bit of cover wouldn't actually hurt. There. Movement. He saw me. Help me! Got him. There's another one running down there. Did you see that? Let's deploy the biopod. They'll, they'll just be shooting up here. Trying to suppress me, scare me away. The AI mods that I'm using actually make the AI dangerous. Even a small group can be a real challenge. Okay, this is not working from this position here. Can I go lower? Further improve my angle, because right now I feel like I can be flanked from the right. They will have a hard time flanking over the left side because of those cliffs. So if I get onto the left side there, I'll have it a bit easier to control the situation. Yeah, let's go down here. Let's take a peek at them. I don't think that they know precisely where I am. But there's too much vegetation. I can't see anybody. Not right now, at least. At the moment, nobody seems to be flanking right. But that can change. Or they can be doing a really good job. Let's see. There seems to be something like a little ledge here. Maybe my vision will improve from up here. Always looking behind me. Just in case anybody goes up that hill again. I guess I'll use this little bush as concealment. That's not ideal, but it'll have to do for right now. Damn, too much vegetation. Once again. Anybody running out to meet me? Not right now. Okay, let's have a look around. Where can I go? Where can I go? 
do they really expect me to push into that? Damn. They are not bad. Here are a few boulders that I can use as cover. So let's do that. Uh, there's one. I see one. And he saw me, obviously. And he went into cover. He was standing next to the house. He went behind it. He fired off a shot and went immediately behind the house. Damn, they are good. But they are bottled up down there. They don't really have anywhere to go. I just need to get a good flank on them. By the way, I know there was one guy with an underbarrel grenade launcher. Maybe it was the guy that I hit on the hill. Maybe not. So maybe there's somebody down there who can shoot high explosive grenades at me. Which I would not appreciate at all. Look at that. Everybody's hiding. Let's continue. Try to flank around. Try to keep them guessing. Try to get an angle. Nothing again. But now I can see the right side quite well. Not sure if they can go along the beach. Let's keep going. I think I won't have a choice but to get a bit closer to them. Which does negate my advantage. They are doing excellent work down there. Okay, let's go to this boulder over here. try to use it as cover. I have eyes on a few dead guys. Okay. They had eyes on me, obviously. They don't know where he is, though. Too much damn vegetation. And they blend in very well with their dark green uniforms. Now, oh, once again, went into hiding. Okay, he's suppressing this position. That might mean that somebody else is pushing up. Yeah, it's now more than one. There's one. Got him. He zigged left when he should have zigged right. Need to reload. Okay, now what? I don't know how many there are. That's my problem. Let's continue to go left. Get more angles on them. Yeah, there's another one. Let me check something. I'm looking for the guy that was on the hillside, the marksman engaging me. Did I get him? I don't know. I really don't. Let's continue. Damn, I'm getting really close. Not something that I wanted to do. 
to be honest, but they are doing such a good job at staying here. Have, uh, have a grenade. Damn, you're a bad shot. Got him. Oh, I was lucky right now. This guy could have nailed me. Christ. That's why I didn't want to get too close to them. That's the reason. see some houses and I can now start to see behind some houses which is even more important let's go here there are a few boulders that I can use a few dead guys But not much else. I might just toss a grenade down there for good measure. That's actually a good idea. There's one. Oh, that grenade la landed quite close to him. I think he's down. But somebody is still alive. Oh, it's him. And that was my last grenade. There he is. Now he's dead. Well, he's wounded. That guy's tough. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's wounded or dead. Nah, definitely wounded. Question is is in a state where he will recover. Let's cautiously advance. I wish I had a few more grenades, to be honest. But it's okay. It's okay, we'll have to do... We'll have to make do with what we have. Here's the house. He's still over there, not having an amazing time. Let's go to the big rock here, use it as cover. I don't know if anybody's in the houses, if those are clear. So let's be extremely careful and very, very suspicious of any window. Somebody is still alive. Might be the wounded guy. Let's continue to the left. So far so good. Let's go to the right. That guy is definitely dead, but I see more ammunition for the sniper rifle lying around, which is awesome. Nobody here. Okay, let's go into this house. Let's use it. Maybe we got them all. Maybe we did get them all. Let's 
let's clear out the rest of the huts. Okay, this one's empty. I wanna check this one. It looks empty. And then there's that one. And this one, okay. And there's the wounded guy. He's straight up not having a great time. But he is out of the fight. Let's continue clearing. I think we got it. That must have been all of them. Jesus Christ, what should I would do with him? That's pretty horrific. Man, there's nothing that I can do for you. So... Uh, I don't think you'll take much longer to um, leave this earth. I'll, um, I'll just leave you to it. I don't have the capacity to accept a surrender and he's not really offering one. You know what I'll do right now? I'll stock up on ammunition and then I'll bring down my ATV and we'll see what we can find here. That's what we'll do. By the way, I wanna repack some magazines. So combine multiple magazines uh, that are partial into complete ones. So now I have more space for fresh magazines. Oh yeah, here's quite a few of those. Nice. Okay, I'm full. In that case, drop this partial one and take the full one. Here's another one. I can't take it right now. Maybe I'll find a backpack somewhere. Maybe somebody here has a backpack? Not really. I'll get the ATV. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you are dead. Let's get the ATV. Then we'll collect what we can. And we'll be back to... Yeah, we have to go back. We don't have much time left. Not a lot of time at all. I have to hurry it up a bit. I did park the ATV somewhere up here. Somewhere this way. We came down this valley. There it is. Let's get in. Let's take stock of what these guys have. Nothing special. No. Are you... S Jesus Christ, he's still suffering. This guy has underbarrel grenades. I'll pack a few of those. Might come in handy. Just really quick. A fragmentation grenade wouldn't hurt, but I don't have the space. I'll take one in a moment. Having a frag grenade really doesn't hurt. 
or even those mini grenades, yeah. Just one of those, okay. That's fine. Let's continue along the beach. See if there's anything else that we can find here. That guy's still suffering. What about this guy? Doesn't seem to have anything interesting. Nothing interesting here. Oh, it looks like that was the last. He died. Okay then. I want to get closer to the boat. Have a quick look at it. So let's drive along the beach. Divers. Oh. Oh, he has a backpack. Oh, he has a very juicy backpack. We'll take that. Nothing else that's super special, but that backpack sure is. I mean, it looks intact, but I'm not swimming out there. How are we looking for time? Five minutes? Okay, let's go back to base then. That's our patrol complete. And we are back. Now, that was an exciting little fight. As you can see, even a small group of enemies can create a lot of problems with the proper AI mods installed. By the way, I did receive comments about, hey, how do you make um, these AI mods work, because VCOM AI in particular is known to break many campaign missions. All I can say to that is a lot of testing, careful, uh, carefully choosing the settings of the mods, and disabling features that cause problems. That's basically how I did it. So, with all of that said, thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed the little challenge that we had today and that you'll tune in next time. Also, do me a favor and share the video around so that a bit more people get to watch this amazing campaign, really. And we'll see each other next week, I hope. Until then, have some great days, and goodbye.